Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Riding Along with Dan. Yes, it's Saturday. Yes, I'm in my truck. I come down here to do some paperwork to get ready for Monday morning. This way, most of it is filled out. Of course, when I get here in the morning, I got to do my pre-trip, walk around, make sure everything is good, make sure tires are good, lights are good, everything is working, everything is in order. So I still got to do that when I come Monday morning, but at least some of the paperwork is done already. Uh, uh, this weekend, not much of anything going on, no car shows, no anything like that, basically just some running around, some errands my wife and I have to take care of, so I came down here for a few minutes, take some pictures, uh, do a video, talk to you guys, let you know what's going on with the channel, uh, just to let everybody know, uh, the three questions for the Riding Along with Dan Trivia, trivia Giveaway are up on the community page, so go check that out. The first one with the correct three answers, I will let you know who the winner is. All I need is your name and your address so I can send you a gift. The other thing is, riding along with Dan, I do have members only right now on the channel. So if anybody's interested in becoming a members only, you get to see a lot of videos everybody else does not see. Uh, you get to see what's going on behind the scenes. You get to talk to me one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, you get to ask your questions. So I think that's a pretty cool uh thing that we have on the channel so the other thing is too that uh, on my music videos you can always uh hit the uh button that runs across the screen at the beginning of the video that you could uh hit the super thanks and say thanks dan for bringing us the videos uh the other thing is too i'm doing a lot more live videos i need your input on that if you think live videos are better than the videos that I, you know, do during the day and then I edit them and post them later. So I need your input on that to see if you like that better. Uh, also, coming up next week, I'm going to do some more videos uh, about the truck, some more safety videos and stuff like that. I like to keep it interesting. I like to keep you guys involved and up to date on what's going on. Friday was the big uh, meeting, the contract meeting with the big bosses. I think it went very well, but it's only our second meeting. They'll probably end up between having four or five meetings before the contract is set, settled and signed and uh, put into the works. So that's going good. Like I said, it's me, Marion, and Jerome uh, representing the uh, employees, drivers. We're basically known as the uh, committee. Uh, we're there with our union representative. He's doing a great job. He always does. He always looks out for everybody. We put in our input too, what we're looking for, what we want, and all that kind of stuff. So it's going very well. Uh, the boss that we're dealing with is a very nice guy, very understandable uh, to our needs and what we're looking for. I mean, he's been in this industry all his life, so he knows what we're talking about, where we're coming from, and what we're looking for. But again, I'm here today. I just want to do a little bit of paperwork. I wanted to come down, check the paperwork pertaining to the truck to make sure that's all up to date. That's something everybody should do at least uh, once every three weeks just to double check the paperwork, make sure it's in order. God forbid you get pulled over, stopped by the DOT, and it's not in order, then that's on you. That is something that a driver is responsible for, just like a driver is actually responsible for the truck he's assigned to. I went over this a few times before, but some people don't get it. Some people are like, well, you know, I wanted a driver, but being the driver of a truck that you're assigned to is more than just being a driver. You're responsible, number one, for the paperwork in your truck to make sure that it's up to date. Office personnel cannot keep up with that. Getting on, They got enough on their own plate they got to keep up with, okay? Keep up with your paperwork. Make sure that you have a spill kit in your truck. God forbid there's an emergency. Number three, make sure you have three red reflective triangles. God forbid you break down. You need to put them out behind the truck to warn people that you are broke down. And most importantly, you need a fire extinguisher. Just double check it when you walk by your truck or walk around the truck or doing your pre-trip that that fire extinguisher is fully charged. The needle is in the green that tells you it's still good and in good work in order. Uh, the other thing is when you do your pre-trip, please write down everything that's wrong with the truck. Uh, even if it's just a bulb out, even if it's just uh, a backup light or your cameras are not working, a bull tire, very important. 
anything at all that's wrong with the truck, please write it up. Because if you don't write it up, guess what? The mechanic's not going to know there's something wrong with the truck, so it's not going to get fixed. So I'm in the habit of writing it up and verbally telling the lead mechanic, listen, I'm having a problem with the truck. Could you have, when you have time, could you look at it for me, please? And then I also write it down on the DVDR. Very important, very important to fill this out at the end and the beginning of each day. The mechanic looks at this. When we're done, we put it in a tray. He takes them all. He looks at what you wrote, what the problem is, brings the truck into the garage, and checks out the problem. Now, in some cases, you might not be able to fix it right away, depending on what the problem is, because he might need to order parts. So that could take maybe a day. It doesn't really take that long. So you might have to use another truck depending on the situation. The other thing is a driver is responsible is cleanliness, keeping your truck clean. I know I work by myself all the time. For, for me, I'm kind of anal about keeping everything clean the way I like it clean. So for me, that's not an issue. But you're in that truck 10 to 12 hours a day, maybe less, but it's a long time every day. So you know what? You don't want to be breathing in all that dirt and dust and grime. Just take a few minutes, and that's all it takes to clean the cab. You know, get some Windex, get some uh, get some uh, arm roll, spray it on the dashboard, wipe it down, you're done. Clean the windows, clean your cameras, so this way you have a clear view of what's going on around you, a clear view of what's going on behind you, because if the lens of that camera is dirty, you can't really see what's going on. You can't really focus in on what you're backing up into. So that's just another thing you're responsible for, in my opinion. The big thing that I find a driver is responsible for, whether you drive a garbage truck or a front loader, is cleaning out the body. Very important. Because right behind the cab, in the body here, in the body, when you open the sliding door, there are hoses, hydraulic hoses, that connect to the pistons, that connect to the whole workings of the blade in the back, okay? So if you don't clean out that body and you keep packing and packing a blade, it's going to pack up against those hoses and probably sooner or later it's going to rupture a hose. Because why? Because there's too much garbage in front of the blade. Uh, therefore, it is the driver's responsibility to clean out in front of that blade to keep it clean. So God forbid you do blow a hose, the mechanic will go in there and will change that hose and do what he needs to do. It is not the mechanic's responsibility to shovel out that shit. It is your responsibility as a driver to keep that body clean. Me personally, I clean it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This way it's always clean. If it rains heavy, you know there's gonna be a lot of water back there. What I do a lot of times is after the transfer station, after I'm dumping, I open the slop door and let that river come out of the body. Usually there's a lot of water in there. My truck is new. Uh, the slop door doesn't leak, nothing leaks yet, so it's good. So when I open the slop door, it all comes out at one time. The other thing you're responsible for in a truck, is obviously, is your pre-trip and your post-trip inspections. Very important. You got to do your pre-trip in the morning, do a quick walk around, kick the tires, check the lights, put your turn signals on, your high beams, your low beams. And, you know, check that the PTO is turning on. Look underneath the truck real quick to make sure you don't see any leaks. And during the day while you're driving and while you're out there working and you walk around the truck on your lunch break and you see an issue, write it down. I don't care how small it is, a light bulb, a brake light, write it down. This way it gets fixed. This way when you're out on the highway and the police pull you over, you don't have no worries. You got nothing to worry about. Everything is taken care of. The other thing I want to bring up, which I feel is very important and responsibility of every driver, is your tire pressure. Now, this company, IWS, provides you with everything you need to take care of your truck. And also, in that, in that stuff that IWS gives you is a tire pressure gauge, okay? I have one right up here in the pocket. So... Every time I'm on a 50-minute break, lunch hour break, I just go back there. I check the air on my tires with the tire gauge that's provided to you from your company. Go back there, check the tires, check the thread, see how it's wearing. If you see a tire that's going bald on the inside or basically just going bald, let your mechanic know, write it up in your DVD-R. 
But when you check your tire pressure, really, it only takes five minutes. Honest to God, it really does not take that long. Tire pressure should be in every tire, 120 psi. If it's a little bit low, you come out to the yard, just pull up alongside the garage. There's an air hose either side. Get the air hose out, put air in your tire, you're done. You're good to go. The problem is if the tires wear unevenly, if they if they are, if the tires are not aired up evenly, you'd even pressure on each tire, like 120, 120. So if you have 120 pounds on the outside, 90 pounds on the inside, it's not good. The tires are not going to wear evenly, and therefore it's going to cause a problem. It's always good to check the air in your tires, and at least do it twice a week. At least, and even if you walk around when you're fueling up, okay, after you fuel up, just kick the tires. Make sure that they're good, they're not flat. It's very important because we carry a lot of weight on these garbage trucks every day. Uh, so therefore, these are certain things, and I feel the most important things you need to check out in your truck on a daily basis. It's just another safety video. I know, I know. Thanks a lot, Dan. But, you know, I like to bring you these videos to keep you up on what you're supposed to do every day of the week. A lot of guys do it. A lot of guys are good about it. Some guys maybe need a little reminder that this is what you're responsible for when you drive a garbage truck or any truck for that matter. So, again, guys, I'm at the yard, not doing much of anything today. I told you about my YouTube channel. I posted the three questions already. Just uh, whoever wants to answer or whoever wants to win the prize, just write down whatever you think the three right answers are, okay? And I will pick the winner and I will notify you. All I need is your name and your address. So that's what's going on today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for riding along with Dan. And if you get a chance and you want to and you feel like helping me out, if you could hit that like button, mash on that subscribe button. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And again, guys, be good, be safe, have an awesome weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I will see you back here again Monday morning. Be good. Later, guys.